Here's a mini bench grinder that I bought off of eBay. It's a three inch wheels. This is your uh, polishing wheel right here. It's soft. Here's your grinding wheel. Uh, here's your dial for setting the RPM. It can uh, go from 0 to 10,000 RPM. And on this side is where you attach the flexible shaft. Show you the back of it here. And underneath. Parts that come with it. There's your uh, parts rest right here. And here's your uh, protective uh, guard protecting from flying pieces, some tools that come with it, plus a, a stone grinding bit. There's your flexible shaft, and of course a manual. Here's a better view of the writing on it. Speed dial. And notice I've attached the uh, part rest right here with that screw at the bottom, nice and tight. And here's your protective guard. Little two screws in the back. Here's a close-up of the, uh, the shaft mounts for the flexible shaft. Now I'll attach the flexible shaft. Put it nice and tight. And there you go. I'll attach a, a bit to the flexible shaft. There's my stone bit. It's not good enough just to put it in and turn this. Uh, there's a spindle inside here that this, this uh, nut is trying to attach to and that spindle is spinning as well. So if you look carefully you'll see that there's a little hole right here. I take this tool that also came with it Stick that in the hole, and that locks the spindle in place. Now this net is a lot tighter. So with that in the hole, I can now turn the nut and tighten it using the other tool that came with it. And there we go. All set. Okay, I'll give you a little demonstration of it. I've got some things to polish and to um, um, grind here. Just turn it on. Well, with polish I have this um, round brass ball that I use for uh, high voltage applications. It's gotten kind of dirty over the years, so hey, here's my golden opportunity. Ooh, very nice. Even a low RPM. <laughs> this is great. Ooh, my voltage guys, I recommend this. Here's just a piece of scrap wood, I'll just put it in the grinder and grind it. Increase the RPM a bit. There we go. The corner's grinding down nicely. Here's the uh, flexible shaft. I just attached a bit from my Dremel kit there. No sense in using my new one. It works that way at the wood fairly well. So there's a little demonstration. Okay, now for the speed test. See if this thing can really do 10,000 RPM. Over here I have a photo tachometer. Just turn it on here. You can see it displays the RPM. What it does is it shines a light and I've attached a little bit of reflective tape that comes with the tachometer to uh, this uh, wheel here, the polishing wheel. So every time the reflective tape passes the light, uh, the photo tachometer will sense it and display the RPM. So let's turn it on. And right away, we have 4,000 RPM. I'm just turning up the, uh, the speed dial here, the RPM. And my face is covered. <laughs> Let it accelerate on its own. There we 
go, 10,000. I'm not even at the end of the dial. I have a little bit left to go. And I'll just wind it down. There, I've turned it off.